Hi, I'm Money Cakes, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Will and Grace book tag. Um, it was originally done by Jashana C. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, I'm going to link her video and channel down below. The first question is, <clears throat> Honey, what's this? What's happening? A book that confused you throughout or left you confused or confounded at the end. Um, I'm going to go with the Wicked series by... Nancy Holder and Debbie Begay. Um, I didn't find it, the subject matter wasn't confusing, but what they did with the very last book, Resurrection, like, I don't know why they went there. It was very confusing and odd. Um, number two is, in this house, a queen always beats a straight. Your favorite LGBT plus character. I'm going to go with Jack Harkness from uh, Doctor Who and Torchwood which are both actually, they have books too. Um, Jack Harkness is an omnisexual who leans heavily towards gay. Um, at least that's the way they seem to play his character. Um, number three is, my right is here. It looks like a huff. I think I'll leave in it. Um, most aggravating friend relationship fallout in the book. Um, I really disliked the way the Katniss Gail relationship was handled in the Hunger Games series. Um, number four is, I'm not good or real. I'm evil and imaginary. A favorite or most memorable villain. Um, I am going to go with, um, I'm going to go with Tack from The Regulators. Uh, that was a really interesting, um, villain type character. Um, number five is, you better watch it, lady, or next time you take a bath, it'll be rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I dropped a blender in the tub. Favorite most memorable thriller book or, or specific murder scene? Um, this is kind of hard for me because I'm not good at favorites and thrillers are like where I live. Um, so I'm probably going to have a list. Let's see, I absolutely love The Shining. I absolutely love the stand. Um, uh, I really loved Ashley Bell by Dean Koontz. Um, I really loved The Girl Before by J.P. Delaney. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go with on that. Um, number six is Karen once told me that Christmas celebrates the birth of our Lord Cartier. Um, a famous Christmas or a favorite Christmas or holiday book. So this past Christmas, actually a little bit um, after Christmas, um, I found this book. It's actually an audiobook, which is rare for me to listen to on my library's ebook, e-library. It's called The Fat Man, A Tale of North Pole Noir. Um, it's by Ken Harmon. And oh my God, this book was so funny. Um, there's a murder that happens in the North Pole and an elf that investigates it. And you see all sorts of um, sort of pop culture references like A Christmas Story and um, A Grinch Who Stole Christmas and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and all of those things mixed together. And it was the most amazing book. And I think I'm going to make it a holiday tradition to listen to that book every year. Um, the next question is, oh honey, I would, but I don't want to. A book you just don't want to read ever. Um, Bill O'Reilly's new book? I'm going to go with that. Um, the next question is, uh, Grace, go to bed. You've obviously had a very busy day of crazy. Craziest character or book? Um, I'm going to go with the garbage can man from the stand. Um, that guy is like an epic level nutter and I loved him for it. Um, number nine is, heard that I'm metaphorically curled up in a fetal position and you continue to kick me about the ear, nose, and throat. A book that kept hurting me. 
Um, A Flower for Algernon. I love that book. It makes me cry. Um, it, it hits me right in the feels every time, and yet I keep rereading it. Um, number 10 is, I don't care if he's rich or poor, fat or thin, as long as he's rich and thin. Uh, most materialistic or shallow character. Um, hmm. Sakani from The Hate You Give? I mean... She, as so far as I am in the book, she keeps referring to him as shallow, and he, he's just a kid, but that's what I'm going to go with. Um, number 12 is, I cost a little more, but I'm worth it. A book or author you consider spending budgeted gas or food money on? Um, Stephen King, uh, Angie Thomas, Dean Koontz. Um, number 13, you say potato, I say vodka. <laughs> A favorite lush alcoholic character. Um, you know, I don't know. I haven't read, um, a lot of books with lush alcoholic characters, so I'm going to have to skip that one. Um, number 14, he's a smarty pants, Will. He uses big words like particularly and delicatessen. A book that came off as pretentious or condescending to you. Uh, I can't think of any that I felt that way about, but I know um, some people do tend to feel that way about like Dean Koontz's books because he uses like those great big SAT words that sometimes you have to look up. Um, and I've heard people say that they feel like his writing is either too up there or it's um, pretentious. I don't think so, but I've heard people say that, and that's as close as I can get. Um, number 15 is Grace. That blouse hurts like a hangover. Worst book hangover. Um, I think my worst book hangover recently has been the book Jumper. Um, and it's also because I finished it right before my life got really, really stressful. So, um, yeah, that, that's going to be my worst book hangover. Though I also kind of see a book hangover coming with the hate you give. Um, number 16 is, have you lost your mind as well as your looks? I ain't babysitting. Um, worst kids in a book. I don't have, I don't have an answer for that one. Um. I can't think of any books that I've read recently that had kids that I thought were just terrible. Um, number 17 is the only other person I've apologized to is my mother, and that was court ordered. Worst mom, daughter, or parent child relationship in a book. Um, I don't really have one for that either. Um, uh, I know there are some strained relationships and like the hate you give it's a little strained but the parents are good um the only other one I can kind of think of is that there's some really strained uh father-daughter relationship uh issues in Gabrielle Sidibe's um autobiography but I wouldn't necessarily consider them the worst either and also that's non-fiction so I don't know if it counts um, number 18 is, honey, I don't produce theater. I am theater. Most viva vivacious theatrical character. Um, I think I'm going to go with, uh, Amarin Amarin from the Court of Thorns and Roses series. And that is the last question on this. I am once again going to leave this tag open. If you want to do this tag, by all means, do it. And just remember to link back to Jashada's original. Um, so other than that, thank you for watching and following along and keep reading.